gosh. Oh my god, he's gonna like, attack me. Has he got rabies or something? Ah! Ah! Oh my god, he's trying to attack me. Are you kidding me? I'm not living the dream life. I don't know. Here, mommy, here's my, lunch. My breakfast, thank you. Snowdust brought me breakfast that yeah. my husband made me. It's not for you. And so here's my view today. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm living the best life right bite. now. Thank you, guys. Try a bite of the yolk. It's so delicious. It's sweet. <laughs> Try a bite of it. No, oh, yummy. You okay. love the yolk. Oh, bless you. Daddy, did you see Swimmy eat the yolk he loves eating the he yolk? Ate the yolk? Mm. Yeah, it does. And mommy likes the yolk, Storm likes the yolk, but I don't like the yolk. You don't like the yolk? You like it when it's all scrambled up together? Mm. Yeah. You don't like it when it's separate like that with the yellow part? That was delicious. Do you guys want Okay. And you didn't eat it. So, do you want your own egg? You want another egg? Are you going to eat it? Yeah. Yes. You want it like mom's? I want it like mom's. Okay. You're going to eat it. I'm going to... Time to work. I'm going to make the whole other egg for you. I know a lot of people probably think that YouTube is like my only job. And it's not. Um, it's one of many. But... I like to think of myself like I call myself a YouTuber, but I like to think of myself as more of like an entrepreneur because um, I have multiple different like businesses and streams of income. So for anybody that cares or is curious, like YouTube and Patreon are my main sources of income um, and, the, and they have been for a really long time. But recently, as I've gotten more into taking the money I've made and investing it into like real estate or other businesses. Um, because you know, I just feel like, I don't know. I'm sure I could do YouTube as long as I wanted because I could post videos like, you know, as long as I want. But I think that like, I don't know, as I get older, I realize like, how important investing your money is. And so I, um, once I started investing my money in real estate, I was like, Oh, this is really cool. I really like it. Especially like the short term rental vacation space. I really was into like wanting to do like something that I'm really like passionate about. <laughs> I think is really cool is like creating it. Like for one, finding a spot that's really cool that people can visit and then turning that spot into something really magical that people would want to go vacation, take their families, make special memories. So for me, um, like taking the cabin and turning that into a really cool space, like I'm not good at interior design. I'm not good at like a lot of things that it takes to do that, but I'm good at like being kind of the visionary and then creating the team to like make it come to life, if that makes sense. So that's kind of um, like my superpower. And then I find other people and I use their superpowers to help me create something magical for like people to enjoy. So when it comes to like real estate investing in the short term vacation rental space, that's kind of like what I just spent a whole year doing. And we also did the glamping camp, which was like so freaking cool. And that was so much fun. Um, and unfortunately it got shut down um, because I was new and I didn't really know everything. Um, and you know, you learn lessons as like you start new things. Um, we could open it back up at that location, but it was going to cost like a hundred grand 
to make changes and have certain things that like the county was requesting. And so, um, you know, if I had like a big investor that had a lot of money and was like, here's a hundred grand, like give us 20% of your company or something, then I'd be like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> but I haven't really reached out to anybody or asked, you know, if anybody wanted to like invest because I just used all my own money to do it. But anyway, so that's kind of the story behind that. We had, you know, being on social media, we have like weirdos and stalkers and people that don't like us, you know, that would call the county constantly. And like, I'm sure if like I wasn't on social media, that probably glamping camp would still be open. Maybe not, but you know, you never know. Anyway, my point is like, there's the pros and cons to social media, right? Like, um, it's awesome for exposure, but then there's also people that try to like, you know, ruin things that you're doing all the time because they're jealous or what, or whatever, you know? So with that being said, um, I do all of like the customer service right now for that. Um, but you know, we have like a team of people kind of like helping run that cause we're not there. So I, I got a lot of questions of people saying like, what, like, didn't you just spend like all this time renovating that cabin and doing the glamping camp and all these different things. And then you just like pick up and leave. And I think, um, it's confusing to some people because I'm an entrepreneur. So I wasn't planning on like staying there and living there and running that business. I, I build the business and then I hire people to run it for me. And then I move on and I go build another business. So that's kind of like what I like to do. And like the way that I kind of like to work, um, because for me, I get bored easily. So if I was doing that, um, you know, I probably get like bored <laughs> I want to go do something else anyway. So it's really good because I create something and then I, I make jobs for other people who really need them and love doing that. Right. So now I've created a job for someone that loves doing that and is getting paid well and, and it's what they love. So then I can go, you know, now that I finished that project, now I can go create a new one and build a new one. <laughs> My husband coming I in. have a passion. What's your passion? My passion is providing housing for people in need. Yes. And so we have also created that in with our real estate investing. So we also ha like, mm -hmm. um, take, find homes for people, make them really nice for them. And then they're able to have a nice home. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's like, and I feel, I feel really good about that, yeah. you know, and like, especially thinking of the holidays and think, thinking of them making it their space and having their memories in there. And, creating like having a family in there and just like I don't know doing all the holiday stuff and I don't know it just makes making it making like, special memories yeah, that's like yeah. when their kids are older they're gonna remember like growing up in that home and, yeah and we and that's we like really, really cool I think I don't know I think so too that's yeah. Travis's like passion is like the long-term <clears> rental <throat> stuff and mine is a little bit more of the short-term rental obviously I still we work together right but um he really likes that and like we were and and we go out of our way to make sure it's like really nice for people, you know, and like yeah. do a really good job. Like if anything breaks or goes wrong, like we are on it, you know, we're sending somebody out right away to fix stuff. Like they're living in nice homes. Let me rewind. It's not like a million dollar home, you know, but we've taken homes and made them nice for people to live in. I hope that that makes sense. But yeah. And then like, yeah, I think that that's like your passion. You like, you, you feel a lot of joy and fulfillment out of giving people in need, like, a place to live like yeah. a nice place to live and they have like a good i don't like calling it a landlord it sounds so weird well i think what is the I mean, word for it i think is there another name for landlord no i mean it it's like, like that's, lord of the that's, land like it's, no, but it's it, so it, weird so it's like say the word like manager or boss or something like that right we have all had a boss we've all had yeah, a but manager i don't, I don't all... like thinking of a manager of your house because it's your no, house no no no. but what i'm saying or is it's like their house no you know but what, I mean? what, what i mean is like the the um uh the feelings that come up with that what about like a like a steward of the land because it's not well, really we don't gonna... own it it's gonna once we're gone like it's gonna go to somebody else like well, our kids and then their kids what I, like what, what i mean is the connotation what the connotation so like everyone's had a boss everyone's had a manager and some people have great managers and some people have terrible managers or like a boss or somebody that thinks like that they own the business or or they own the business or they run the business or they're kind of you know delegating authority or in charge or something like that so not to say that some people have terrible landlords and they neglect their property and and don't try to like work with the tenants or whatever else um but there <clears throat> could be good landlords 
as well too so it's just a term or a, na a name you know if you say oh i'm like the boss or something like that that could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on like what kind it of does. a boss you are you know like at, at a job i'm just saying like for reference stuff hi squirrel you are very close oh my gosh oh my god it's gonna like, attack me has he got rabies or something ah! Oh my god, babe, a squirrel literally just tried to get me. <gasps> no, I'm serious. I'm like actually scared. You know, they have rabies. They could have it I think it was trying to like Mommy, I'll bite see me. it. Mommy, I'll see it. I'm like really freaked out from the terrifying. Honey, okay, if a squirrel tried to come after you <laughs> with those teeth, are you kidding? Well, I'm like maybe, actually scared to go back outside now. Maybe you had some like walnuts in your food. Holy moly, what an aggressive little squirrel. I've never had that happen before. <laughs> Mommy, I don't see it. Oh my god, look at him. He's like waiting for us to come back out. You see him? He's like... Mommy, I don't he see looks it. all hopped up. Oh, he's going over to your phone thing because he's interested. In oh my god, he better not take that thing. No, he can't take that. He's going to make pee on it. Too. He's like really hopped up, babe. Stay inside. He might pee on it. Well, what's over here? Maybe nothing. There's... Literally, there's watch. Go outside. Nothing. Look at him. <gasps> he's on our steps. Look at him. He's looking at me. <laughs> he's looking at me. What a little wild thing. Oh, he's scared me. You guys no, watch out. Can't see, hey. You can't food. see. Oh, let me see. Oh, you guys be sweet. Be sweet, okay? You guys. Hello. Hello, Hello, little squirrel. If he, if he runs in, Hello. In the home. <laughs> Trav, go outside. I want to see. I mean, do, are you you just made fun of me if, if for being scared. In, if he runs in, we're don't open the door. No, but if you open the door, he Hello, should go out. Squirrel. How are you? Oh, oh. Go. Where is he? He's right under the oh. stairs. Underneath? Well, I don't want him coming in. He's not going to come in. Oh, no. But I want to see if he's going to attack or if are he's just. No, go out. I'm scared because. He's not coming in. He just went up the thing. Hey, let me see. Here, honey, go. <laughs> he was looking for food. People probably give him food all the time. Well, I want to make sure Hi, he's squirrel. just a friendly Hi, squirrel that's not trying to attack. Hi. 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 Whoa, squirrelly. Hello. He, he thinks you have food. Honey, I don't have food, and I'm scared he's going to bite <laughs> no, he's me. He's looking at the kids. We don't have anything, buddy. Hi. It's not, you're not supposed to feed animals. I don't think it's I know, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, well, as long as he's not going to attack, then I feel okay. I just got a little spooked and mommy, freaked out. Mommy, we want to go. We want the squirrel to come in here. We want to pet him. Well, honey, squirrels can carry diseases and stuff, so you don't really want them coming inside the motorhome. Well, because I want to carry him. Well, no, you can't carry wild animals. That one's wild. You know what else is wild? You. He's underneath the motorhome. He's looking to find a little spot to get in. Daddy, I'm going to go see. Don't have any food. Let me know in the comments. Yeah. Your hair smells yummy? Yeah, I smell it. <laughs> this place is so beautiful. 
Oh, it's so delicious. Jump, 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 jump. We have some of our friends coming to visit us. It's not our parents or our family, like friends that live in Texas. You out this way? What's that? I know, let me show you. So pretty. Oh, I think because it's winter time, I feel so like dry. Like my lips are dry, my skin is dry, so. I'm gonna make a candle. I'm gonna make a candle. You're gonna make a candle? I, I'm gonna put that on my face. Okay, just a little bit, okay? Okay. Mm. But anyway, I was trying to explain like all the different things I do. That's good, baby. Yes. Um, so my face cream. So Mommy. obviously real estate. I'm gonna sit on investing. your lap. I'm gonna sit on your lap. Short term, Mom. long term. All right, give me a second, okay, baby. And then also YouTube Patreon. And then I also created courses. Um, for people that like want to learn how to use social so media beautiful. successfully for like their business or just to create their brand or for people that want to do Bell social media man. for a job like me. Um, it's so well. And a couple other things. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> Hold on really Whoa. tight, sir. <laughs> What wow. are you doing? Oh, he really bounced it. Whoa. Wow. 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 Wow.